Hey guys, what's up? It's Tim Meganson here from BodyShapeFitnessCamp.co.uk um, Today I'm making this short video for you because I want to talk a little bit about setting those goals and setting your mindset. Okay, because I've said this before and I say it all the time, your body will follow your mind. Okay, if your mindset's not in place, if you've not set the right sort of goals, if you're not establishing what the why factors are, why you want to achieve those goals, then you're not going to have the motivation to follow through with achieving those goals. And here's how it works. Basically, you need to set a goal, okay? And it needs to be something that's really, really specific, okay? So, for instance, I want to lose weight or I want to get toned up. It's not a goal, okay? It has to be, I want to lose six pounds next week or I want to burn fat from my bum and my legs and I want to drop a dress size by the end of the month. Okay, you need to start making these goals really, really specific. The reason for this is because what we're doing is training the subconscious mind. Okay, there's a bit of mindset that goes on here. The more specific you make something, the more um, you start to attach an emotion to it. Okay, the more you start to remember it. And it's like anything in life. Okay, if something's vague, then you just forget all about it quite quickly. If something's specific, then you tend to remember it. You can recall on it. You can recall upon it. Okay, so we're starting to train the subconscious mind into um, continuously and actively striving towards achieving your goal. Okay, which is really, really important, isn't it? Because the times when you're going to fall off the wagon are going to be times when someone offers you some food that you don't want to eat. Or when you go to the supermarket and you buy something that you're tempted to eat, okay, but you know it's not going to take you any closer towards your goal. All right? So what you need to do is set a specific goal so that when those situations occur, you know or your mind tells you that you have to override that because that's not going to take you any closer. That's not going to be an action step towards getting that body or the fitness levels or the health levels that you desire and the reason that you signed up to this program for. Okay, So you have to set a goal. You have to start establishing this why factor. Okay, and This why factor digs a little bit deeper, okay, into setting this subconscious mind. So, for example, your goal might be you want to lose a dress size by the end of the month and your why factor might be because you want to look and feel and experience feeling really, really good and healthy and sexy again, okay? Once you start attaching those feelings, okay, those experiences, those emotions to something, that strengthens the sort of way your mind can relate to it, okay, which is really, really important because once you strengthen that attachment to your goal, you're never you're going to be continuously motivated to stay on track with it. This stuff's really, really important, so make sure, guys, that you've set that goal and that you start setting the mindset into achieving awesome, awesome things because if you follow the plan, you're going to get awesome results. If you have any questions on this, please just drop me an email or a text. I can't wait to hear from you all soon, guys. Let's get really, really awesome results this month. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.